Okay, so now we're going to talk about solving systems of equations. All right, the first method we're going to talk about is solving systems of equations by by graphing. All right, a system of equations just means that you're uh, you're playing with more than one equation at a time, uh, and they have the same variables. All right, so that's uh, this is our first example of a of a system. You got equation one and equation two. Now to solve these things graphically, literally you're just going to graph each equation. You know, everybody agree we can graph each of those pretty fast. And then you look to see, all right, well, what happens? All right, so here we go. All right, so let's number this as 1, and this one as 2. All right, so if we take equation 1 and isolate y, you look like that. Everybody agree that's the equation of a line, right, where the y-intercept is 0, 1. So that would be right there. And then the slope is negative 1, so you go down 1, and over one. Get another point. And you connect the dots. Draw your line. You know, get out your handy dandy ruler. I don't really have one here, but we'll make this work. You'll get the idea. All right. So there's equation one. The graph of equation one. Now two, you could rewrite that as negative y equals negative x minus five. And then divide by negative one, so you get y equals x plus five. So now the y-intercept is 0, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, and the slope is positive 1. So if you go up 1, you go over 1. And you connect the dots. This is number 2. Now, ideally, you'd be using graph paper. Right, so everybody know you have the little the grid that's going on there, right? And so you would see that grid goes through. We would see at this point where they intersect right here is the point negative two, comma three. Everybody see that? That point right there. That's where they intersect. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means the point negative 2, 3 is a solution to the first equation, and it's also a solution to the second equation. And that's really what you're looking for, all the ordered pairs that make both these equations here in your system true. All right? So in this case, there's just one ordered pair. All right? So the solution is negative 2, comma, 3. It's the one point that both lines here have in common. All right, that's it. So in other words, you're going to graph the first equation, whatever it graphs to, graph the second equation, whatever it graphs to, and then we're looking to see where those two graphs intersect. And all the points of intersection are solutions to the system. Okay, so now that brings up the following idea. What happens um, if we're just talking about linear systems? Now what a linear system is is just that your graphs are going to be lines. All right, so if your graphs are lines, what can happen? Well, you could have what we had just a minute ago. You could graph one line, and then you could graph another line, and they would intersect at one spot. Right? So therefore there would be one solution to that system. Alright, so now what else can happen if you graph two lines? Alright, well, they could be parallel, right? Which means they don't intersect. So therefore, what would be the solution to the system? That's right, there would be no solution to the system. This is also called an inconsistent system. So systems where there is no solution, they're just also referred to as inconsistent systems. And then lastly, is you could graph one line, and then the other line would fall right on top of it. So it's essentially the same line. Everybody follow me? All right. So there we would have infinite solutions. Because essentially those two lines are intersecting at every little point on the line, right? On every on every single spot there. This is called a dependent system when that happens. All right, so when, when you're graphing lines, one of these three things has to happen. There is no other option. You get one solution, no solution, or an infinite number of solutions. All right? 
Okay, so let's go try this one. Alright, so again, I'm just going to call this one 1, call this one 2. So we're already in slope intercept form, so uh, for 1 there, the graph would be, see, the y intercept would be 0, negative 4. So that'd be there. And then the slope is up 2 and over 1. So up 2 over 1. And then up 2 over 1. And then up 2 and over 1. Then connect the dots. I really need a ruler. But go with me here. Okay, so there's 1. And then 2 is also already in slope-intercept form, so we could say, all right, the y-intercept is 1. So there's 1, and then the slope's negative 1 half, so we go down 1 and over 2, and we connect the dots. That's number 2. And they intersect at that point right there, which is 2, comma, 0. So the solution to this system is 2, comma, 0. That's the one point that both these lines have in common. All right, let's do one more. Call this one the first one. This one the second one. Let's do let's do the x-intercept for the first one. All right, so how do you find the x-intercept? Well, you let y be zero. Well, if y is zero, this goes away, and you get two x equals six, which means x equals three. So the y-intercept is three comma zero. Now, what about say the y-intercept? All right, so now we let x be 0, so that goes away. You're just left with 3y equals 6, so y equals 2, so 0, comma 2. It's the y-intercept. So you go up here and you say, all right, 0, comma 2, so 1, 2, and 3, comma 0. 1, 2, 3. Connect the dots. Okay, that's the first one. Second one is in slope intercept form, so we can just read off what the y intercept is. Zero, negative two. So you get down two, plot a point. And the slope is negative two thirds. So that means you go down two and to the right three. One, two, three. And when you connect the dots, what happens? That's right. They're parallel. So that means no solution. All right, so that's the idea on solving systems of linear equations uh, graphically. You could expand that out to systems of nonlinear equations because you would just be graphing things that are not lines, but the concepts uh, would stay the same. All right, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.